welcome to 11th standard botany class children today we are going to discuss chapter 4 plant kingdom gymnosperms and angiosperms have you seen jurassic park movie children in this film you might have noticed insects embedded in a transparent substance what is that that is called amber what is amber it is a plant secretion that is a effective preservative that does not get degraded and hence can preserve remains of extinct life forms do you know which group of plants produces amber the amber is produced by pinnatus succinifera a gymnosperm in this chapter we shall discuss in detail about one group of seed producing plants called gymnosperms what are gymnosperms gymnosperms are naked seed producing plants they were dominant in the jurassic and cretaceous period of mesozoic era the members are distributed throughout the temperate and tropical region of the world temperate and tropical region that is moderate and similar to a hot humid climate now let us discuss the general characteristic features of gymnosperms most of the gymnosperms are evergreen woody trees or shrubs some are lions example netum the plant body is sporophyte and it is differentiated into root stem and leaves what is sporophyte A sporophyte is a plant which produces spores by meiosis in order to produce gametophyte. Root system. Here, a well-developed taproot system is present. Coralloid roots of cycas have symbiotic association with the blue-green algae. Coralloid roots, coral-shaped roots, they have symbiotic association with the blue green algae that is cyanobacteria symbiotic association is mutually benefited in pinus the roots have mycorrhiza mycorrhiza what is mycorrhiza a symbiotic association between the mycelium of a fungus and root of a plant shoot system the stem is aerial erect and branched or unbranched with leaf scars example cycas in conifers we can notice two types of branches namely branches of limited growth and branches of unlimited growth limited growth is dwarf shoot unlimited growth is long shoot leaves leaves are dimorphic foliage scale leaves are present Foliage leaves are green, photosynthetic and born on the branches of limited growth. What is limited growth? Dwarf shoot. They show xerophytic features that is desert plant features. The xylem consists of tracheids, water conducting tissue, xylem. It consists of tracheids but in the plants of Netum and Epidra, we could notice vessels are present. secondary growth is present the wood may be manozoic or pycnozoic manozoic here the root the wood would be, uh, will be porous soft more parenchyma with uh, wide medullary rays are present whereas in pycnozoic wood here compact with narrow medullary rays example pinus manozoic example cycas pycnozoic example pinus they are heterosporous gymnosperms are heterosporous having different type of spores the plant body may be monoecious or dioecious monoecious example pinus dioecious example cycas microsporangia and megasporangia are produced on microsporophyll 
and megasporophyll respectively. What is microsporangia? Here a capsule that holds microspores that is called as microsporangia. Megasporangia a sporangium which produces only megaspores. Male and female cones are produced. Anemophilus pollination is present. What is anemophilus? What is pollination? The transfer of pollen grains. The agent involved here is wind. So, anemophilus pollination is present. Fertilization is siphonogamous. What is siphonogamous? Reproduction takes place through pollen tube. And pollen tube help in the transfer of male nuclei. Fertilization, fertilization takes place through siphonogamous fertilization. Polyembryony is present. Polyembryony is present. Poly means what? Presence of many embryo. The naked ovule develops into seed. Naked ovule develops into seed. The endosperm is haploid. Single set of chromosomes haploid and develop before fertilization. The endosperm is haploid and develops before fertilization. Here the life cycle shows alternation of generation. The first half it takes place by sporophytic phase which is dominant and the next later gametophytic phase which is highly reduced. So sporophytic phase alternates with the gametophytic phase. Classification of gymnosperms. Spawn in 1965 classified gymnosperms into three classes, nine orders and 31 families. The classes includes Psychodopsida, Coniferopsida and Neetopsida. These are the Three classes includes under this classification. Comparison of gymnosperms with angiosperms. Gymnosperms resemble with angiosperms in the following features. Presence of well-organized plant body which is differentiated into root, stem and leaves. Presence of well-developed plant body. Here, presence of cambium in gymnosperms as in the dicotyledons. Presence of cambium. Class in netum resembles to the angiosperms male flower. Netum class resemble to the angiosperms male flower. The zygote represents the first cell of sporophyte. Presence of integument around the ovule. Integument means what? Covering. Covering of the ovule. Outer layer. Both plant groups produce seeds. Pollen tube helps in transfer of male nucleus in both. In angiosperms and in gymnosperms. Transfer of male nucleus takes place through pollen tube. Presence of U-steel. In both uh, gymnosperms and angiosperms, presence of u steel. What is u steel? The arrangement of vascular bundle around the pit in a ring form. Arrangement of vascular bundle in the form of ring around the pit that is called as u steel. This is present in both angiosperms and gymnosperms. Now let us learn. What is the difference between the gymnosperms and angiosperms? In gymnosperms, vessels are absent, whereas in angiosperms, it is present. Phloem lacks companion cells. Companion cells are absent in gymnosperms, whereas it is present in angiosperms. Here, the ovules are naked. Naked can be seen with our naked eyes whereas in angiosperms the ovules are closed enclosed within the ovary pollination pollination takes place by wind agents are wind whereas in angiosperms 
the pollinating agents are insects wind water animals etc double fertilization is present in angiosperms whereas in gymnosperms it is absent double fertilization is absent in gymnosperms present in angiosperms endosperm is haploid in gymnosperms whereas in angiosperms it is triploid fruit formation is absent in gymnosperm in angiosperm fruit formation is present it takes place fruit formation takes place flowers are absent in gymnosperms whereas flowers are present in angiosperms now let us discuss the economic importance of gymnosperms plants produced products and their uses cycas circinalis cycas circinalis cycas revoluta the product produced here is sago what is sago sago is a powdered starch which is used as food pinus giardiana pinus giardiana the seeds are roasted and it is edible used as a food grape is balsamia grape is balsamia the product obtained from this plant is resin commonly called as canada balsam what is resin resin is a viscous hydrocarbon secretion of many plants viscous hydrocarbon secretion it is used as a mounting medium during the preparation of permanent slide preparation it is used as a mounting medium during the slide preparation pinus insularis pinus roxburghi pinus insularis pinus roxburghi the product obtained is rosin and turpentine rosin it is a solid form of resin solid form of resin turpentine a volatile essential oil which is obtained from pine trees uses of this is paper sizing and varnishes it is used as paper sizing and varnishes arachelia arachelia commonly called as monkey's puzzle pisia and phyllocladus pisia and phyllocladus the product obtained is tannin uses of this tannin are leather industries it is used in leather industries taxus brevifolia taxus brevifolia the product obtained is taxol a taxane used to treat cancer it is used in a drug which is used in the cancer treatment epidra giardiana epidra giardiana the product obtained here is epidrine epidrine the drug used in the treatment of asthma and bronchitis asthma and bronchitis pinus roxburghi pinus roxburghi the product obtained is oleoresin oleoresin which is used to make soap varnishes and printing ink pinus roxburghi pisia smithania pinus roxburghi pisia smithania the product obtained here is wood pulp used to make papers citrus deodera citrus deodera the wood obtained from this plant used to make doors boats and railway sleepers citrus atlantica citrus atlantica here the product obtained from this plant is oil which is used in perfumery tuja cupressus araceria and cryptomeria tuja cupressus araceria cryptomeria these plants used as decorative purpose which are grown for decorative purpose 
used as ornamental plants ornamental plants these are the economically beneficial plants in gymnosperms in the previous topic we have discussed the general characteristic features of gymnosperms now we shall discuss the plants be, plants bearing ovules enclosed in a protective cover called ovary such plants are called angiosperms angiosperms are flowering plants angiosperms are the most diverse group of land plants like gymnosperms angiosperms are seed producing plants they constitute major plant group of our earth and are adapted to the terrestrial mode of life this group of plants appeared during the early cretaceous period and dominates the vegetation on a world scale alternation of generation takes place here also the sporophyte is the dominant phase and gametophyte is highly reduced now let us discuss the salient features of angiosperms vascular tissue that is xylem and phloem is well developed xylem water conducting tissue phloem food conducting tissue are well developed flowers are produced instead of cones flowers are produced the embryo sac embryo sac is ovule that remains enclosed in in the ovary that is inside the ovary ovules are present inside the ovary here pollen tube helps in fertilization so water is not essential for fertilization for fertilization pollen tube helps double fertilization is present double fertilization here the endosperm is triploid triploid angiosperms are broadly classified into two classes namely dicotyledons and monocotyledons cotyledons that is seeds with two cotyledons is called dicotyledon seeds with single cotyledon is called monocotyledons characteristic features of dicotyledons and monocotyledons current angiosperm phylogeny group apj system of classification does not recognize dicots as a monophyletic group monophyletic means descending from a single ancestral species plants that are traditionally classified under dicots are dispersed in several clades clades means a group of plants derived from a common ancestor species such as early magnolids and eudicots let us discuss the difference between the dicotyledons and monocotyledons morphological features study of form and structure external character in the leaf it shows reticulate venation in dicotyledons network like venation venation means what arrangement of veins on the leaves reticulate venation whereas in monocotyledon parallel venation presence of two cotyledons in the seed whereas in monocotyledon presence of single cotyledon in the seed root system primary root radical persists as a tap root in dicotyledons whereas in monocotyledon radical does not persist and fibrous root is present flowers are tetrameres or pentameres in dicotyledons tetra means uh, multiples of 4 penta means multiples of 5 in monocotyledon the flowers are trimeres tricolpate that is three furrows pollen is present whereas in monocotyledon monocolpate pollen is present that is single furrow
anatomical features anatomical means internal structures vascular bundles are arranged in the form of ring in stem that is u steel in dicots whereas in monocots vascular bundles are scattered this we can observe in monocot stem vascular bundles are open due to the presence of cambium whereas vascular bundles are closed cambium is absent secondary growth is present in dicots whereas it is absent in monocots these are the differences between dicotyledons and mono cotyledon let us recall what we have studied under gymnosperms gymnosperms are naked seed producing plants the plant body is sporophyte and it is the dominant phase coralloid roots are found in cycas the roots of pinus possess mycorrhizal association two type of branches present they are long shoot and dwarf shoot stem shows secondary growth spores are produced in cones pollen tube helps in fertilization the endosperm is haploid alternation of generation is present recollection of angiosperms angiosperms are highly evolved plant group and their ovules remain enclosed in an ovary a wide range of habitat is present these include trees shrubs herbs climbers lions double fertilization is present the endosperm is triploid they are classified into dicotyledons and monocotyledons the life cycle shows alternation of generation hope you understood gymnosperms and angiosperms you are always welcome to clarify your doubts children thank you children